Well, hello, hello, ladies and gents. I'm back again with another short video on how to fix stuff. So today I have my good old trusty Logitech uh, gaming mouth, which I broke by hitting hard some enemies. Well, you know, it happens sometimes. And uh, the scrolling stopped working. Yep. This is uh, actually a pretty common failure in this mouth is when you press too hard on this, the scrolling stops working. So people just throw the mouse away or toss it and buy a new one. But I just decided to fix it. And uh, I saw a video, actually one video on YouTube, where a guy tried to fix this issue. I'm going to show you what actually happened. So you see the scrolling wheel? It just broke off. Like So this little... Oh, I don't know if I can focus. Small piece, it just broke off. Okay. So I show you a guy who tried to kind of 3D print in a washer, put it in, in there, and then gluing this small pin together. So he kind of fixed it. It was good. But I just decided to go simple way. So I went ahead to good trusty AliExpress and purchased a new wheel. So this is a brand new wheel and I also purchased uh, two sets of these, how you call them, pads, mouth pads. Because once you disassemble the mouse, the old one, I complete junk is broken, they should just toss them away. And the whole kit, like the wheel and two sets of pads, you know, they were eight bucks shipped. Eight bucks shipped from China. You can also buy them on Amazon, probably on eBay. You can buy them anywhere. So this mouth is still pretty expensive, I think. It's like still 70 bucks or something. And I love this mouth. Yeah, it's a great mouth. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and install a new wheel and see if my project is success. To install a new wheel, you will just need a tiny Phillips screw, screwdriver like that it's tiny because there are two tiny screws in here one goes here and the other one is over there so you basically just loosen those screws kind of it relaxes this support so you can move it a little bit uh, like so I could kind of move it a little bit and then install a new wheel So here it goes. The new wheel is in place. It is working. It is working completely fine. Click works, scroll works. Everything is working. Uh, sorry, I didn't show how I disassembled the mouth, but it's it's super easy. There are four ball. You remove this uh, sticky pads, and there are like four bolts underneath. Four screws. One, two three, four, and you unscrew them and then just uh, open up the mouse. So I put it back together. I'm gonna clean this old stuff off and put new pads on. To remove the old uh, sticky residue left from previous pads, I actually used the good old goof off. It worked well. So now my mouth is clean and is ready for new pads. So here it goes, ladies and gents, project is complete, completed successfully, the mouse is back in one piece, new pads installed, everything is working, everything is fine. That's it. Thank you very much for staying with me today. Hopefully this video will help some people to save their mouse and uh, less mouses will end up in the trash. Have a good day, ladies and gents, and see you next time.